But in the meantime, we wanted to start the show with one of our very, very favorites. Linda Miller Nicholson is known for her amazing pasta creations that she shares on the Instagram um, and her account, which is called Salty Seattle. Linda is actually the first person I ever did a Zoom cooking segment with when the pandemic started. That but was so much fun. I was, so except it was fun. 30 minutes and my producers were like, oh, we can't, that's like a whole show. <laughs> uh, but this morning, no more Zoom, Linda is here. I'm so, so happy to have flash. her in the studio. So what are we making today? So we have these, you are getting a special bonus today, Amity. Ooh. Not only are we gonna make pasta, we're also going to hypnotize the lovely viewers of oh, New Day Northwest. You will watch with New Day. These, with these, yes, you will watch and you will continue to watch. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we're going to make these sort of very springy, but also sort of um, psychedelic ravioli here. I do love a psychedelic ravioli. Yes. If I'm going to have ravioli, I'd it like it might to be as well be, yeah. So recently, Not I got... Not containing psychedelics. <laughs> to be clear about I mean, that. But well, we, the look of we it. are in Seattle. Um, no, recently I got this cool little spinner thingy that spins the plate. So since then I have been obsessed with, I want to do like a huge ticketed dinner and everybody has their own little spinny, spinny plate, plate where you can see this is a, a koi sort of spinning oh, around in I his little, yeah, that. it's it's based on Marcel Duchamp uh, had these roto relief series basically and they were just it, like a circle and you would kind of make a swirl Whirly oh. art pattern. So we are going to get in okay. touch with our inner 1920s artist I now. I have it in me right now. <laughs> you have it in you, yes. So, Anamity, I know that you are Italian, and I was trying very hard to get you to operate the pasta machine. I think it's very intimidating. But we, we decided, yeah, so I already sheeted out our pasta. Okay. This nice sort of pale spring green is actually made with nettle. Oh. It's nettle season, so you can actually go out, harvest nettle, make sure you wear gloves when you harvest the nettle. Yes, that uh, could be owie. Yes, very, very, very ouchy. But the second you blanch them, in mm -hmm. other words, the second you uh, par, just boil them for a short amount of time um, in, in water with a little bit of baking soda and salt, the sting is denatured. And it uh. suddenly becomes a very um, delicious and, and docile. good for you and docile <laughs> ingredient. I yes. love it. Yes, yeah, so it's very Pacific Northwest, very spring. Okay. And and also very good for you because my whole thing with making colorful pasta is trying to get potentially picky people, kids, husbands, yes. what have you, to eat more vegetables. So we're, ha we're, we're not only experiencing beauty, psychedelia, and art, but also some nutrients. This is this. like the perfect so. pasta, Linda. Yep. Yep. The perfect pasta. Okay. We're getting everything in. So, so. Um, all right, well, let's get started. Okay. And then we'll talk about kind of how we go about this. Okay. So I already sheeted out kind of, we'll call these like our base sheets to make the ravioli. And mm -hmm. now I'm going to turn on the big scary pasta machine kind and just scary. sheet this into strands. The reason I wanted to do this is a lot of times people think that I paint on the pasta. Uh. And the point that I'm trying to make is that no, I don't paint on the pasta. I'm actually using pasta itself as sort of what creates the art. So right. when I'm making Ruth Bader Ginsburg or Betty White out of pasta, mm -hmm. it's actually more pasta used to create those features. So we're just going to turn this into a tagliarini, a thin strand of okay. pasta with the machine here. See, now that you see it, you know you could do it. No, I know, but it just sounds, it sounds like it. It sounds scary. Yes, one of the, uh, one of the, <laughs> Funniest things I have ever seen one of my pasta students do. She went out and bought this machine after she came to pasta class. Wow, good for um, her. Which is a, a huge commitment, right? Yes. So the first time she was using it, she was wearing a cashmere sweater. Ooh. And she was by herself in the kitchen and just sort of really close to it, maybe looking at something to see if she was doing something right. Um, I received a text message from her. Uh, it was her sweater halfway shredded through, oh, and she's whoa. like stuck in the machine, calling for her husband. Can you come extricate me? Um, and you wonder why? <laughs> why you were? Afraid? I'm staying away from the Imperial. Okay, well I do need your help now because this, this next now. this is a pitcher and a catcher thing. Okay. I'm gonna pitch. You're gonna catch. These strands are gonna come out from under here. So just pull them along. I got them. Right I got down. Him. I got them. I got them. Excellent. Him. Beautiful. And then let's just drape them. Let's make a little bit of room, like right up there. That is perfect. Yep, just like that. I love okay. It. Okay. So we're gonna make our little sort of swirly top sheets here. Okay. So I'm gonna cut you kind of a good generous square okay. there to work with. And then I just start swirling. And then, well, let me give you a little bit of water okay. first. This is our our super secret pasta glue. So ah, a little water. Okay. 
so that it sticks. And then just, you know, be creative, swirl how you want, um, you know, kind of play with your pattern and um, and don't be afraid to, to, to get fun and funky with it. The Virgo in me is like, your arches are not correct. Do you want it perfect? I mean, I have I have some circular. No, no. I have guides. I'm standing out of my it. comfort zone right now with my swirls. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think, you know, as a really fun, so I do pasta workshops a lot and mm -hmm. sort of invite people to, why don't you do one more strand on there and kind of, yes, well, I mean, unless you're done, I no, don't, I don't want to control your art. No, I, I um, like one more strand. It just felt a little less. <laughs> right, than, yeah, like I feel like I want more. But yeah, so I do um, pasta workshops and I'm always uh, sort of trying to get people to kind of, like everybody wants to know the right way to do it. And I don't feel like there's a right way to do it. I feel like there's kind of a, a fun way. There's your right. way to do it. There's your way. And, and so, I'm doing it my way. Okay, so once we get this, okay, look at that. I, I'm feeling a lot better about this I now. feel feels, a lot better about that, too. Feels like, yeah. a, like a licorice circle thing. Okay, now what? <laughs> so now we are going to cut a couple more squares out of this and Thank put a little bit of filling down. And yeah, this is our filling. This is just ricotta, parmigiano, reggiano, um, and a little bit of salt, pepper, and some nutmeg. Okay, so let me I'm try it though, you... just in case it's awful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, I can accept that. All right, that. your turn. Oh, okay. So just um, the the correct technical term here is a blob. Just, just so a blob. Is that, that an, is this a acceptable blob? That's a, be that is, I, Amity, I've never seen a more beautiful Wait, blob. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All and right. then one more time, back to okay. our little, okay. our so little we cheat here, our, our little glue. water, to make sure that they, they adhere. Together. Yep. All right, and then and then kind of press careful with the water on the top. That can kind of stick to your fingers. It did. If it's it too did do sticky. That. Then you can um, we can use a little bit of flour, but we'll just kind of press over, and sort of even okay. kind of press down with your hand like that. I'm just going to sprinkle a little teeny bit of flour. Okay. On the top there, <coughs> Excuse and me. then. Mm. All Peppa. right. Are you gonna, you're going to go in? So I do this, All right. right? Yep. But you got to be bold and decisive. <laughs> Again. And then maybe a little shimmy shimmy back and forth. Let's just make okay. sure we're cut. Here, you hold down. I'm going to pull this around just to make sure. Okay. Are we good? Yep, we're good. All right. Now, I got dropped it. All right. We only have about a minute left. Oh, that's beautiful. That is that's a thing of beauty. Wonderful. Yes. I love it. All right. Next to the koi. Um, what do we do now? We just, we boil this like for yep. what, two minutes? Like it's, very it's little pretty boiling. plug and play at this point. Yeah. Yep. Two minutes and it's done. Toss it in a little brown butter, something simple and delicious and call it macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I like that brown butter too, because that is something that everyone can enjoy. Maybe if you get a little crazy, you can throw a little sage in it. Exactly. Brown butter, sage and keep it easy so that you can also see and enjoy all the colors. And that. those recipes are uh, in my book, Pasta Pretty Please. Pasta Pretty Please. Here.